five, four, three, two, one. This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. And ladies and gentlemen, gold and silver are about to break out and go through the roof in this man's opinion. I am long both of those metals and I see a huge upside for both these metals. Right. It's a heavy program. All right, ladies and gentlemen, James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 13th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We're going to start out looking at the KP indexes today. It looks like today the Boulder KP index had us in a G2 geomagnetic storm for the first three hours. That would be from 7 to 10 central last night. And from 7, or excuse me, 10 to 1, they had us in a, uh, well, a KP7 G3 geomagnetic storm. And then actually after that, we've seen six hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. And we're technically into the 14th currently. 10 o'clock, uh, 7 to 10 was this print here, and we're seeing no solar winds or plasma, and we will go over those. Moving down to the Fredericksburg KP index, we started the day out with what looks like G1, KP5, six hours, followed by a dual magnetic disturbance, followed by nothing. And moving now to the estimated planetary index, which has been more truthful than I could ever imagine. We ended the day out with, I believe, a G3 moved into a, is that a 5.3? We're going to see in a second, and then into a G2. Uh, we had a geomagnetic storm before that at the end of the day, and after that. So this is 7 to 10, 10 to 3, 3 to 6. No wonder we were all exhausted. The estimated planetary index is the one that NOAA and NASA just paid to update with your tax dollars. And then the most sensitive KP index, which again is kind of a coordinated effort uh, measuring both solar winds and plasma. We saw really nine hours of a G1, three hours of a G2. So altogether, 12 hours of geomagnetic storm, and then this is obviously subsided throughout the day. Hey, Tiff. Hey, Grace. Y'all let me know. Can y'all hear me? Did I, did I turn the volume on? I'll never know. So many things to do, guys. All right, and this is just a, a I wanted to see it, 6.33, so it's going to be a, a KP. It's going to be a, let's see. A G2 KP6, right? Yes. And this is also going to be a G2 KP6, the 5.67. And so really, we had nine hours of a G2 KP6 here. And we haven't seen a G3, G4, or G5. Although we did just yesterday, right? All right. I've got some really good data here, but we're not going to pull it up and waste our time. All right, everyone just knows. I don't even know where it came from yet, but we had another X flare here. This says 1.65. That's not what happened. This was our long term, of course, 6.66 solar flare. Lasted six hours. How many sixes can you put together? Uh, Unbelievable solar flare today. Really, the only thing with the bump as it died down that, that we would speak about. Some other inflaring in there, but nothing significant. And obviously, this is not a 1.6. It's stronger, as I will soon show you. We're going to keep that pulled up. And let me reduce the size of this real quick. Hope everyone's having a good day. They got a 1.6, but it was really an X 1.7. Two, and that's going to be out of NASA and NOAA. 
Uh, and hey, let's see if any new sunspots are getting into it. They've got 3664, not even alpha beta anymore. And they're saying that it registered at 1.6 on goes, on goes, really at 172 on goes.